World over, the population is rising each day. The birth rates have gone up, the death rates have come down. And in between, the population is rising by leaps and bounds every day. People are so concerned about population explosion. They want to bring out measures to bring down the population. But there is another side to the whole story. The childless couples all over the world feel that being childless is a curse upon them. The childless people feel so alienated, they don't know what to look forward to just because they do not have a child in their family. And they want to have a child at any cost. They would go to any extent in order to have a family. And this is where the burden of infertility comes in. The burden of infertility is so large that even if you take the burden of all the cardiac problems, all the diabetes problems, in spite of that, putting all these problems together, the burden of infertility is more than all of these problems taken together. So though there is a population explosion, we cannot ignore the problem of infertility. And science and technology has come forward over the last 38 years to be precise to bring smile onto the faces of these childless couples. With the birth of Louis Brown in the year 1978 on 21st of July, there is a fresh hope to all these childless couples by which they can become parents with the help of science and technology. And this technology is known as in vitro fertilization or IVF or test tube baby. Now the word in vitro fertilization is a Latin word wherein in vitro means inside the glass. That means the fertilization is happening outside the body in a test tube. And probably that is where the word test tube baby has come from. But there is a small anecdote to it. The fertilization does not really take place in the test tube. The fertilization actually takes place in a flat glass dish known as a Petri dish. But anyway, for our patients, for the lay people, the term test tube baby is extremely popular. Test tube baby or IVF technology is a super specialized technology through which we at Team Urvara can convert couples into families. Namaste. I'm Dr. Indrani Loth, Senior Gynecologist, Advanced Laparoscopic Surgeon and Fertility Specialist. I graduated in the year 1988 from Medical College, Calcutta. And I was the recipient of the President's Award for being the best lady medical graduate in that year. I did my post-graduation in Obstetrics and Gynecology and I received the gold medal in that course. After which I did my diploma in pelvic endoscopic surgery from Germany, from University of Kiel. And I've been practicing in Kolkata in almost all the big corporate hospitals for the last 28 years. I'm an expert in advanced laparoscopy, in procedures like total laparoscopic hysterectomy, myomectomy, ovarian cystectomy, TCRE, hysteroscopy, fertility enhancing laparoscopic and hysteroscopic procedure. And I also take part in a lot of academic activities and am a trainer in advanced laparoscopy in India and abroad. How did the idea of opening your own clinic come about? After many years of experience in my field of obstetrics and gynecology, I started my own clinic, Urvara. The clinic Urvara has a boutique model of care in gynecology for all our patients. We take personalized care of our patients and not only our patients, we also take personalized care of our patients' families. Here we give them tender loving care along with the proper treatment. The Clinic Urvara is a one-stop solution for all the gynecological needs of women. We have consultation, psychological counseling, the best possible diagnostic procedures, a daycare operation theater 
where we can do our laparoscopies and hysteroscopies and we also have the facilities of in vitro fertilization or IVF as we call it. This is a very unique concept and all the facilities are there under one roof. This is a unique clinic in Kolkata. Clinic Urvara has been my dream. I have been all over the world and I have seen patients paying through their nose for the large hospital infrastructure and the large paraphernalia that goes along with it. My dream was to have a small, compact, all-women's clinic where we can provide them with a holistic approach to infertility. So in my clinic, Urvara, we not only have medical treatment, but we also have associated holistic approach to the whole thing where we advise our patients about the diet, the importance of yoga, the importance of staying away from junk food, eating right, doing proper exercise and leading a good regulated healthy lifestyle. So it is a small unit and it provides all solutions under one roof. What has been your inspiration? My biggest role model is my father. My father worked in the Indian Air Force. I was born and I grew up and I schooled in Indian Air Force. He taught me the importance of strict discipline, dedication, loyalty and honesty. Growing up in the Indian Air Force actually taught me how to take split-second decisions and this quality comes very, very handy when I'm doing complicated operative procedures like laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, IVF, ICSI, etc. Here we deal with life and death and being able to take a split second decision is of utmost importance. Our patients have their complete trust in us and in fact they place their life in our hands. So taking care of them is our utmost duty and pleasure also. In the world of in vitro fertilization or IVF as you call it, my biggest inspiration has been my Sir Professor Boidonath Chakraborty. He is a legendary figure and even at the age of 88, the amount of dedication that he shows to his patients of IVF is so commendable. I used to work for him for the last 10 years. I used to do all his operative endoscopies, laparoscopies, hysteroscopies and that is where I got to learn IVF from the legendary Professor B. N. Chakravarti. Professor Chakravarti has been my inspiration and he's also the inspiration for Team Urvara. What are the biggest industry challenges? The biggest challenge in the IVF industry is the fly-by-night operators. IVF clinics are mushrooming in the city and in the entire country. They promise miracles, but they are not able to deliver those. IVF is science, it's not a miracle, it has a success rate and a failure rate as well. It requires a lot of very fine knowledge, skill and dedication. And above all, we need to extend tender loving care to our patient all through their IVF cycle. We at Urvara are completely committed to our infertile couples and we treat them with utmost care and dedication and that is why our success rates are so high. How would you differentiate Urvara from other IVF clinics? While the commercial aspects are very very important in IVF, the factor that is missing in most of the clinics is the human touch. Here is where Team Urvara scores above all the other IVF clinics. We are extremely humane towards our patients, their families, we understand their needs and we literally handhold them through their IVF journey. This is a quality which sets Team Urvara apart from all the other IVF clinics. What are your expansion plans? I would like to see the brand Urvara 
as the most trusted clinic brand as far as women's health is concerned. Right now, we only have a daycare facility with IVF and endoscopy, but we would like to have a full-fledged hospital in the future and we would also like to have a presence pan India. Now the point is we promise to deliver personalized care to each and every patient that we see. So even if we expand our wings, this level of personalized care will always continue at Clinic Urvara.